Welcome, welcome to Selenite Wellness, everyone. It's been so long. Hopefully everyone is having like a nice, healthy time. There has been so many things going on, different stuff with my healing crystals and other things. And I just hadn't really seen my inbox. It's, I guess you could say as thoroughly as I thought. I had been seeing different things that come up and responding to things here and there, but apparently had not been checking it as much as I should. So someone had asked in um, a message, would I try the place that Yada was supposed to be, I guess, receiving or his ex or his current, whatever she is, proclaimed that he was actually getting his CMOS from or the base or however um, that he actually makes his. And they were saying that they would cash app the amount because they really would like me to try it. They gave me some accolades on how much they appreciate my honesty, how they felt like it was genuine, how they felt like things were thorough, and would I be willing to try it, and that they would actually cash app the amount for it, right? So I think that's absolutely amazing. Like, I'm not going to say no. Of course, I am going to do it. But however, that message is a little old. So I actually had to reach out back to the person and give a response. So I will let you guys know how that goes. It is supposed to be the C... I guess they have like a sea moss, bladder rock, and burdock root or something blend. Um... For me to try that for 30 days and just to give my review on their actual product and how that goes. So I'm absolutely game for it. I will get back with you guys as soon as they get back with me. And I will let you guys know when I place the order and do all of those things provided the person is still with it. I am all for it. Again, I hope everybody is doing absolutely amazing. Um, I have been following different things with Yada um, as this process has been going. People have asked me questions and things of that nature. So many people, like when I got to check out my messages, so many people asked me how I felt about this thing or that thing because I have still been following different things on Instagram. People even made a comment like, do I believe that he was dropping off to get himself better because of this, that, and the other? Or do I think he's actually going to jail for some of the stuff he just went to court for? Like, it was all these type of things. So, I think what I'm going to do is just come back on and just give, like, my view on some of the questions that, you know, have been <clears throat> asked of me through Inbox. Even a Facebook post that I put on a long time ago People have actually responded to that. And I've had a couple of people on Facebook to inbox me a couple of questions. Actually, some links on some things to watch and kind of, you know, just have a little discussion. Um, at the end of the day, I'm going to say the same thing I've always said. I I think his product actually works as far as with iron and stuff. As everyone saw from my lab results, my actual mineral aspect did decrease some. Um, I just didn't get enough results with the product to pay the amount of money that he's asking for because I feel like, um, the sea moss and the wheatgrass in the manner that I was doing, it's a whole lot cheaper and it was working. The only thing I can say is like, if you go look at my lab results video, my iron did absolutely positively go through the roof. There is absolutely no denying that, but it's just not at the cost. It's like, okay, Marie, be a little bit more diligent about um, taking the wheatgrass and the sea moss, and you will probably have the same, same, same exact thing, right? So I'm willing to see again what Nature's Organelle is. I will give my response. I'm not about bashing anyone. I don't know whether he faked it until he made it and now he has all the money. He's actually able to go to these countries to get some of these, you know, these herbs and these nutrients. I don't I don't make any speculation. I mean, I appreciate anybody that is trying to make this world a healthier place, trying to educate us on as many things as possible. And it is on us as individuals, whether or not we buy the stuff or we take the education further the knowledge ourselves, and then use whatever product we feel that fits us. So I'm definitely not in the bash that, hey, I'm all on board for what it is. His aspect and avenue of some of the things that he's doing, 
are just not avenues that I want to follow, but that's, they're not just that that's me. I can't speak for the next individual. I can't speak for the next person. And I have, I've said it so many times on these videos. I feel like your gift should make room for you in this world in so many avenues, financially being one of them. So, I mean, I don't feel like, you know, everybody say he's such a scam artist and he, I just don't feel like that because to be a scam artist would say you are selling me one thing saying that it is something else when indeed it's not what it is. And he's saying that he's selling sea moss. He's saying this apple of Eve is a combination of, and even what the ex was saying, she never said that he wasn't using the product. She stated that he stated, she just told you where he got them from. And basically, like, he was lying about, like, he was going out of the country to get them. But she never once stated that he wasn't using those actual products. I mean, McDonald's don't tell you they use French's mustard on their hamburgers. But you know what I'm saying? Nobody complains that they're using French's mustard. Right? So, if anyone is getting thinking that I'm going to bash or be negative towards Yada, that's not happening. Now, we can have a conversation on viewpoints and what we have and what we think um about the product like i said i didn't try his other detox products because the only one that caught my attention and my interest was the apple of eve and i stand by everything and every review that i said because i gave y'all 100 percent honest of where i was and for the money that he was asking i would not do it somebody did ask me would i do it if the product was more at a lower cost yes I would do it if the product was at a lower cost. If it was like 16 ounces for like $30 or 30 some bucks, I would do it. At 70 some bucks, I'm just not doing it. And even at 30 some bucks, he would have to have his shipping practices together. It's also just a manner of customer service and it's also the manner of delivery that I take issue with. And yes, I did see where those back orders were held at the post office. Do I know if mine was one of those? I really, really hope not. I did order around that time frame. I did fall in that time frame. I do not know. But what I can say is what I took did not pose any physical risk to me. No harm. I didn't get sick. I didn't throw up. So the actual, unless it's like some unforeseen damage that I haven't seen that's going to show up later, I don't have any in, anything in that aspect. Because people ask me, did he send me a replacement since mine was around that time frame, no, he did not send me replacements. So I can't speak on the replacements or things of that nature. I took all of what I got and I didn't feel ill and I didn't feel sick. Somebody even asked me, do I think that is why I had some of the um, feel and stuff that I had was because I got a batch that was sitting at the post office. Guess what? That could have very well been the case, although... Mm, not too sure that I believe that because St. John's Warts causes those type of side effects. And St. John's Warts plant is in his Apple of Eve. It's stated on the, on the bottle itself. So I don't. And again, you know, I hope that wasn't the case um, because I had one person to tell me that they don't feel like, you know, maybe my I, I didn't have a valid review. Like, I don't remember the word they used. They didn't use that word, but it was a certain verbiage because... Mine was potentially one of those. So maybe I didn't have the freshest of products. Okay, well, guess what? I'm not paying another 70 some dollars. And I don't even know if he offers the ounces. I'm not paying a hundred and some dollars just for that. Now, if somebody from his camp saw this and, hey, they wanted to say, get in contact, so I will to send me a fresh amount and me to do the 30 days over again. Hey, I'm more than welcome. Hey, somebody who said that they had access to Yada's camp actually made a comment that I really plan on addressing. I got to go back and look at it because I, I made note that I wanted to address it. Hey, if you're part of his camp and you're getting this message, look, tell them, send me a fresh bottle if, and I'll, I'll do a whole nother 30 day review. No problem. It'll be absolutely amazing. I'm just not paying for it myself. It didn't make me sick. So, you know, God's blessing and will, but you know, when things like that, anyway, I always ask the Lord to bless it. So, you know, look, if it ain't right or it ain't wrong, please bless it as it go down my mouth, honey. And let's make sure that we stay right and it don't do nothing wrong. So, 
no major nothing. That's all I can say on that behalf. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will let you all know exactly what the person say when they get back with me. And if I will be trying the other sea moss blend from the company out of Atlanta. Until next time, you guys, have a good night. Love, peace, and light.